So if you are not familiar with Max Tech, man, he's making great videos and he does a lot of comparisons. Let me go into full browser mode here. Whoa. Full browser mode engaged. And he does videos of different Apple products and he compares them. And his newest video is actually great because a lot of people have been wondering, well, do I need 16 gigabytes of RAM in the new MacBook Pro or can I get away with eight? And so he went through and he does all these benchmarks and it's actually really surprising. So just to kind of give you a high level of what he found, in most instances, having 16 gigabytes of RAM, it, it of course speeds up the computer. But in most instances, it's not a dramatic speed up. It depends on what you're doing. So he did a test with uh, Xcode. And in, in his test, he found that the 16 gigabyte MacBook Pro, the M1, it gets the job done about 10% faster, 9% faster, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM versus eight gigabytes of RAM. If you have 16, 16 gigs of RAM, it will get the Xcode test done 10% faster, right? So that's, oh. that's pretty good, that's not, that's not bad, but that's actually surprising that there's not a bigger disparity between eight and 16, okay. So here's where the big difference comes in, and if you are a video editor, this might put the, the old nipperoos, <laughs> at a full springboard okay 8k red raw to 4k export check this out so i'm looking at bar graph 8 gigabyte macbook pro with m1 it got the the test done in 13 minutes and 57 seconds adding an extra 8 gigs cut that time down to 5 minutes and 59 seconds that Ooh. is a 46 percent increase in performance with the extra 8 gigabytes of ram and imagine if we had 32, you'd basically be done in 16 seconds. I'm, I'm just extrapolating here, so it could be, it could be a little bit more, give or take. But that is a 46% increase in speed what? by adding an 8% or eight, eight, gig, 8 gigs more RAM. What, Lewis? What'd you say those numbers were? 13 down to 5? Yeah, he got it in... That's in way the, more than 46%. He got it from 13 uh, minutes, 57 seconds down to 5 minutes and 59 seconds. Is it more than 46%? Yeah, I'm doing the math in my brain in real time here. You might be right. Maybe I did the math wrong. In any case, it's a heck of a lot faster. <laughs> so putting 16 gigabytes of RAM in the M1 MacBook Pro brought the machine to about the same speeds as a 32 gigabyte i9 with the 5500M in Final Cut Pro. Dude, that's the machine that I have. It's $3,400. And the 16 gigabyte MacBook Pro, I think, maxed out as like, well, I don't know. Isn't it like 1700 bucks or something? Somewhere in that range. It's crazy. So the yeah. other test is Lightroom Classic. He did a 42 megapixel raw export. And having 8 gigabytes of RAM in the M1 MacBook Pro took about 3 minutes. In With 16 gigabytes of RAM, the M1 MacBook Pro brought that down to 2 minutes 43 seconds, which is faster than the 16 gigabyte 2020 27-inch iMac. And by my calculations, that was uh, about 7% faster. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this clip of the Cultcast. You know, we broadcast the show live every Thursday around 11.45 a.m. Pacific time on the Cult of Mac YouTube channel. That's live.thecultcast.com, live.thecultcast.com. We invite you to come hang out and join us as we do the show. We may not have the best information. We may not be the most accurate, but let me tell you one thing. No one's having more fun than us every single week, as you can see. So come check it out, live.thecultcast.com. I'll see you this Thursday.